Okay, we've got our loops picked out. Now, first thing we need to do is decide what tempo we want to work with. The great thing about Elastic Audio is we can change that later. But right now, when I'm lining things up, I want to pick some tempo to work with. So I can pick any one of these tempos, 130, 129, 132, 140. I can stick with 120, whatever I want. Just so I can show you how great Elastic Audio is, we're going to pick a tempo that none of these are set to. We're going to pick 131. Okay, now if I zoom in a little bit, you'll see that this first track, which was 130 BPM, is off the meter. Of course, the other ones are too. So how do we get them on the meter? Well, the first thing we do is we make sure we can see this area here, this little metronome thing. If my track is small, you won't see it. And you can get to it by holding down the arrow here and choosing Elastic Audio. If you see it, you can just click right on it. Either way, you have to choose an algorithm. And we'll get into these in a little more detail, but in general, if you're working with some kind of chordal material, some kind, something like an arpeggiator or a pad with, which has a lot of notes at the same time, you would choose polyphonic. Rhythmic material, like we're working with here, you'd probably choose rhythmic. If it's a single line, you would choose monophonic. And varus speed allows you to change the pitch when you change the time. X-Form is a special mode we'll cover a little later. So I'm going to choose rhythmic. And nothing happens other than this light goes on. But what that means is that I've now chosen a rhythmic algorithm to analyze this and turn it into an elastic audio file. And that's all happened in the background. Now, if I go up here and I choose my TCE, Time Compression Expansion Trimmer, I can grow and shrink the file. Now I'm in grid mode, so it's snapping to a bar, but I'm gonna snap it right to bar three. The only indicator that shows you we've done anything to this file is this little icon here. This icon means that we have used Elastic Audio on this region. I can get rid of that by going up to View, Region, Processing State. That turns that off. But it's very handy to keep that on so you know which files have been processed. And now if we listen, it's perfectly in line. You can't even tell it's been changed. Just to show you, I'm gonna drag it all the way to here. And now let's play it. And we'll drag it out four bars. But look how fast I can do that. That's the benefit of Elastic Audio. I can just stretch it however I want, and then we'll see later we can change the tempo and it's gonna align perfectly. So that takes care of this loop. Let's do the same thing with our house beat. So I'll solo this track, we'll change it to rhythmic, and this one is four bars long, so we'll snap it to four bars. Listen to both loops together. So even though they were different tempos, they're perfectly aligned now. We'll take care of expanding this loop in a minute. Okay, let's go on and do the bass. Now the bass, we're going to use a different algorithm. We're going to use monophonic. Now you'll notice the file dims for a moment and then comes back online. The dimming just shows you that Elastic Audio is analyzing the file. Once it's analyzed, you're done. You can stretch it however you see fit. And again, if I'm in slip mode, I don't have to limit myself to the grid, but I want to do that now. So now I've got this in four bars. Let's listen. Turn on the beat. Okay, and let's now do the same thing with the arpeggio. Now the arpeggio, I'm going to try polyphonic, I think for this. Even though it's a single line, there's some echoes, so there are multiple notes sounding at once. So we'll change it to polyphonic. Again, I'll align it out here. And then I'm going to finally take this and in loop mode, I'm just going to make a copy of it. And let's listen to what we have. Ah. 
absolutely perfect. I took four loops, all of different tempos, aligned them to my session tempo, which is different than all four of them, and everything plays back perfectly. And just to show you how this works, I'm going to use my regular TCE trimmer again, and I'm going to trim this back, this back, and this back. I'm going to get rid of my loop here, and I'm going to now TCE trim this to there. How amazing is that? 